In Bluefields, a small city on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, there are needs just as there is abundance. Rich in natural resources but economically disadvantaged, Bluefields is the hidden gem of the Caribbean coast when it comes to cultural richness and diversity and music. Having six ethnic groups that are stirred into a melting pot, Bluefields becomes the capital where the music, dance, and other forms of cultural expressions are celebrated as one. But during the month of May, there is a special kind of celebration that dates back to our African ancestry. Thanksgiving for the coming rainy season, known as the Maple Celebrations. This is an act of homage, celebrated in the form of a dance. Even though the British influence in our region is evident when we look at the flagpole people dance around as they plait the flags or ribbons around the pole, today we can appreciate the unique practice of dancing around the maple tree. Decorated with traditional colored ribbons and fruits symbolizing fertility and productivity, women, men, and children dance around the maple tree in a unique style to the rhythm of the maple music. My name is Carmen Cash. Joseph. I'm leader of a group by the name of Legendaries. We are all own people and our, our mission is to introduce the younger group the way maple should be done. You hear that fun hit in, in, in this neighborhood everybody else get out and start dancing because I have 60 years now from the same neighborhood and in, and in what we call I'm feeling the whole in where they used to keep all in maple it was to be like 9, 10 o'clock in night when we start having these dance and we're so happy to see these elder people them dancing with their long dress and their tie head around this tree trapped with the rhythm of this music lively and making me comfy so happy to know that May is coming in the May month where we have all the crops and everything coming in so we are happy for this month to come. But what is this maple music that makes a vibrant celebration so special? Where did it come from? Who are responsible for producing such rhythmic composition that makes every bone in your body move? The rhythm was, was a composition that was a mixture of instruments from New Orleans and Jamaica. In the 20s, hot jazz was, was thriving, that's ear instruments and stuff. And at the same time, the mento in Jamaica, the banjo, the slow, that was thriving as well. Those are roots to many other music genres. But when those two hit Bluefields on the Caribbean coast through that trade, important trade route they had, it fused with our traditional composition that we had. And my name is Alexander Perry. I'm born right here in Bluefield, Nicaragua. And I'm 65 years old. We would like to see how we get together and push some more of the culture that we can show the outer visitors what our autonomy can do for us. The 70s and 80s, we only had three general groups, Cahuibe, Dimension Costeña and Sinica that represented the coast. Since those times, every music you're hearing now, aside from what you hear from what the sound system has produced, is basically the same song they've been listening to since those times. Everything changed completely. There was no infrastructure, there was no interest in culture because they were worried about surviving. So they left culture aside. The last thing that they try to do so far about culture is let's do the dance, the maple dance, there's a big campaign. But they haven't realized, you can't start a dance without a rhythm. It's not that simple, even if it's in your head. And the rhythm they did those dancing to was the maple, what we call maple music. We began as little kids playing music in the neighborhood with a guitar, with a juice pan with 
Yo este, miraba en Santa Rosa, por ejemplo, que es uno de mis barrios pequeños, cuando era mi niña, eh, la familia Hammond. Y yo me ponía con potes, yo con tu instrumento, me ponía con potes a, 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 a acompañarlo así desde largo, ¿no? De lo de largo porque estaban reunidos, yo como estaba niño, chaval, pues, me ponía a disfrutar de la música. From I had something like six years in Tasbag Ray, ¿no? We used to play ball, we then like keep on them about the place. I had them big girl and dancing, you know, about the place. So you had Kawiwe, you had um, Dimension Costeña, you had um, even, even Sinica Ban you had in them time, you know. The, the real original Sinica band. Them time, you know, um, we had the mention Costeña Conjunto, what? Them used to um, had um, them activity, sometimes like three, four times for the week, so they used to play the song, them, you know? People going ranch, people used to go Blue Souls and people used to go and ranch, Mandela Ranch and Dimension Costena right the plane. So you know they used to pound in the culture music them e we head. I remember we were a place you've known in front of the hookah. La piñata. La piñata. That place used to hold more than 10,000 people. So when this you got cause dimension and we were playing in La Piñata. A Friday or a Saturday. You had three, four thousand people making line from five o'clock in the evening, brother. Five o'clock in the evening, and the party is to begin at eight. Just imagine everyone they want to know and see those bands. Those dimensions are the crazy. Can we be sold by are the crazy? So, what important everyone they want to know, get to know the cause also to the band, to the music. The way we started Sneaker Band is just uh, in 79, and we get started in the 80s. Start to just play around and talk about things that pass and how it passed. And we decided to give the name Sinikaban. And we start out playing like that and one of our commander took us into consideration and start to help us. And we worked our way up and father in the 80s we went on to present the culture group in the island of Cuba. Big group, dancers, flat pole dancers, maple dancers. And after that, we just start working. Until a couple more months, here we went down and didn't have no support, so we just get stuck. After the war in the 70s, and the impact that Hurricane Joan had on our region in the 80s, music and much of our expressive arts were nearly forgotten. Después del, del huracán, a esta fecha ha habido un descenso. Ha habido un descenso porque incluso eh, había un grupo que le, se, le, le decían las, las bailarinas tradicionales que es, es por, hoy por hoy casi no, 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 lo están, no lo programan en actividades. Y antes no podía haber ninguna actividad, ninguna festividad de Pablo de Mayo si no estaban esos grupos presentes. Music is an expressive art of a cultural identity of a people. And when the lack of infrastructure and resources limit the practice of that art, that unique identity begins to vanish. It's like we last in with culture. Me and Paul have problem. So from those times from the 70s, from the 60s, what time Tom and Bogos and all those guys were singing and making music. No one is making more me Paul. So practically, we're singing the same song. Prácticamente, eso se ha ido perdiendo porque no hay motivación, o sea, no hay apoyo. Lo que sucede es que algunos, aunque no, no nos apoyen, aunque no nos motiven, por naturaleza lo sacamos, pues, aunque nos quede grabado, pero alguien, eso quedó en el pueblo, pues. Nuestros ritmos culturales afrodescendientes son muy importantes. Son la identidad de nuestra cultura, la identidad de nuestra gente y debemos preservar ese núcleo. Y para poder preservar ese núcleo eh, 
necesitamos tener el apoyo y necesitamos también trabajar muy duro. Our music linked with history, we linked with ancestor. So if we don't know our history, we don't know our music, we don't know about the culture, we're going to lose identity. I would, I would like to make a call to the young people and that we must, um, that we must, let's we try to, if it's possible, make a revolution and rescue back our culture music. Because our culture music here is, is, a, is a very rich, culture and it looked very sad how it um, how it dying gradually so better we try to rescue it back and try to professionalize ourselves in what is our culture music we are a nation within a nation under the flags of our destiny once more our people we will challenge autonomy our future will depend on our struggle <laughs> to construct a better home for everyone. Come close up and I'm a good dance man. DJ! Well, I'm so proud tonight. I've been out of your legendary here. And well, I will try my best at least, but this could be at least one time for the month, right? Nosotros nos seguimos practicando lo que es la música ancestral, lo cual nos da identidad como personas, como seres humanos, ya que la música, así como lo es la comida, así como lo es los bailes, es un elemento que preserva identidad. By the music we have manifest who we are, how we are coming, where we are coming. You know, it's good, good to keep that tradition. Keep it alive. No adultery, no y les sugiero a la juventud pues a los chavalos es de que conserven lo propio independientemente de que les gusten otros géneros musicales porque esa es la música que es original del lugar llamémosle región llamémosle municipio o llamémosle ciudad pues la música de Pablo de Mayo era una referencia de algo que había sucedido en la comunidad o con los comunitarios, pues. Shalom is my artistical name, okay. and well, it just means peace. It is Hebrew language, Shalom. In some country, the government itself pay you to be a dreamer. But then here now, like if you is a dreamer, they could even kill you, you know, because you're dreaming too much. I went downtown one morning, I met Elizabeth the Grumble. Cecilia did me, baby, and money make me belly the rumble. Bola make a shake, I make a fine. Bola make a shake, I make a fine. Bola make a shake, I make a fine. Till it drink like a drunk of parable. They drunk for the walk and wine. 
This is um, going for third year now, we in the culture house and we don't got no instrument, we don't got nothing, we, we, we don't got nothing, no, nobody back up. That is my culture, that's my culture, that's music. Indigenous and Afro descendant people is the best call to stop this oppression.